Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Welcome back to my Schema Scalper video. We're going to be going over my NASDAQ long that I took today. I took it at 7 minutes past 5 and I took another position at 19 minutes past 5. Um, so let's go to 15 minute chart. I'm going to clear everything. So it will be 10.07. So immediately I saw this fair value gap before going into the market at 10 o'clock. Fair value gap, it's entering into the fair value gap and had a big move away from it. So that that's telling me that we want to see price going higher. And then I marked up, let me actually, I marked up the areas of liquidity. Let me show you. So I marked up the areas of liquidity, this box, this box, There's another box back here, but we already took out this buy side, took out this buy side, and we took out this buy side at the morning, in the morning. So my idea, looking at this was, we're going to have a measured move up, and that's the red line. So this whole area, I looked at that as a measured move, and just, that's not going to be my take profit area my entry so I, I had the idea that it's markets going up I had my take profit now it's time to look for entry on a five minute chart you can see this gap is being respected and with that being respected it creates a new fair value gap up and then I jumped into a one minute chart On the one minute I entered when it went into this fair value gap. So right at this candle, let me actually make sure of the time. 5.07, so it will be 10.07. Gosh, I actually entered a bit late and a bit early. By 10.07, I took a buy. Long position, 10.07. My stop was initially below the law of this candle so I'm just gonna control law of this candle so that was 22 point stop and my target was the higher 1 to 5 risk reward and once I saw it go below that low Still inside the same fair value gap and have a push away. I understood now that we are most likely not going to come back to this, these levels. And we, let me just move this over. And I can look for a second entry. And that's what I did. I moved my wrist. Let me just go back. 519, so that will be 1019 right there. Enter another buy. Stop below this low because it now created a new fair value gap up. This swing low is protected because we want to see higher prices. So the drop down should, I'm not going to say it always has to, so it should not um, violate this low. So I move my stop. I knew this low is protected, but I still want some breathing room. So I moved my stop to the initial position I had and I reduced this risk to zero. So now effectively, I had two trades, two trades on 0.5% risk. And Five percent profit. No, just sorry, ten percent profit. That was my profit target. The target was ten percent, and I have zero point five percent risk on. As you can see, the ending amount is much less than ten percent. It's actually like five point eight. Yeah, five point eight percent. As you can see, my target was the eighteen three hundred. I closed early. 
for the simple fact that today is the day before NFP. Um, I just wanted my account to get back to zero. Once I saw this, my account is back to zero, and we can take we can take the account into the new week and see what we can do with it. Instead of holding for this target and getting stopped out at six hundred dollars, now I would have been uh, minus five percent and then minus one, so minus six percent on the total account. On the whole account, I've been down six percent. Instead of starting new week at break even, I would have had to start the new week at negative six percent, which would have been really, 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 really difficult to pull out of. As you can see, nothing too crazy. Yeah, that's the trade for the day. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Cheers.